judges before the prophets is, is speaking like that. A man who wrote the first five books of the Bible is, is, is spoken of as one who had, in light of the sufferings of Christ, trusted God and left the pleasures of Egypt. We'll, we'll get to that just now. And in verse 27 of, of the very same text of Hebrews 11, uh, it says that by faith he left Egypt, not being afraid of the king, for he endured as seeing the invisible. Bese John 1 verse 18 would say then, no one has ever seen God. Bese Iti, the only God who is at the Father's side, he, Jesus, has made him known. You see, what Moses saw in, 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 in the Old Testament was Christ, um, um, Christ pre-incarnate. And others would say, other scholars would say it's a theophany or whatever. What the text says, what the text interprets in terms of Moses' faith is that Moses' faith was informed by his view of the sufferings of Christ. I think uh, the, the writers of the Bible, as inspired by the Holy Spirit, would interpret the Bible way better than uh, most scholars would. Uh, if not better. And then Exodus 33 verse 20 would say, but he he said, you cannot see my face for um, for men shall not see me and live. Now, what what basically, what's the point here? Maiti, the Bible, he is the image of the invisible God. It does not negate the idea of God being invisible. Um, it does not change that fact. Um, it just put a rumba stamp. All the pictures of Christ seen uh, in the Bible or of God, all the images of God seen in the Old Testament were images of Christ. Yeah, ne? Let me let me close my argument with uh, Jude. If if you have your Bible, just go to the end of your Bible. Jude verse five. Jude verse five reads as follows. As I said. This is not a sermon. It's just me chatting to you with, with about some things I think about, but reflecting on the time we are in. And what are we emphasizing today? The supremacy of Christ. And the first point here is that Christ is supreme in eternity. Uh, he is supreme in eternity. And, and we have seen his supremacy now, the point I'm making now, in the Old Testament, even before Christ incarnate, even before Christ came, uh, was born through the Virgin Mary, we see glimpses of Christ uh, in the Old Testament because he is the image of the invisible God. And what uh, the writer to the Hebrews is arguing is that uh, Moses had faith in view of the sufferings of Christ. Uh, Moses saw Christ in the Old Testament. That's the Others will disagree, but it's fine. My last point in, in view of the Exodus is Jude 5. Jude 5 uh, verse 5 reads as follows. Now, I want to remind you, although you once fully knew it, it, it was a general knowledge. And, and Jude, remember Jude, the brother of Christ, is one of the leaders in, in, in Jerusalem, leaders in the, uh, in the early church. And he's saying, now I want to remind you, though you once fully knew it, that Jesus... <laughs> I'll stop there. If you have your Bible, please, Jude 5. That Jesus, who saved a people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed those who did not believe. Jesus did that. That's 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 that again is the Bible interpreting the Bible. The Bible interprets the events of the Exodus as as having Isan Laska and Kulunkulu being Isan Laskabani Sga Jesu Christ to Kobolak. Now here's one example uh, in terms of this this image of the invisible God. Um who Hebrews would say he it's the he is the exact imprint imprint of his nature, meaning he's the icon, he is the the is like a coin and and I'm a coin okay, not coins, maybe you can use our ma ten rand or twenty rand, have an imprint of a picture or, or it shows Mandela is Thomas Mandela basically. Now uh, here we, we see the imprint is is the picture or an idea that uh, God 
um, is portrayed or is seen fully in Christ or Christ reveals fully God. Not only, uh, we're not talking image mainly, we're talking mainly his character. Christ um, is, is in actual fact the exact imprint of who of of god of the nature of god he's he's god incarnate and his being in terms of the point i'm trying to make is that if he is god then he is supreme and if he is supreme what do we learn about the supremacy of christ is that he is eternal he is self-existent he is not created in essence he is god uh, in his divine nature and 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 the person of christ is the very description of the image of god he bears the image of god in person and 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 this for me is important for us to to not see uh, Jesus as just a footnote in history, just a a person who came to die for the sins of men, but seeing Christ in light of his his magnitude, in light of his ubukulubake, and 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 what I just emphasized today was mainly that. Christ is supreme in eternity because he is God, he is eternal, because he is God, he is self-existent, because he is God, he is not made, he is not created. Close off with this, in terms of the attribute of God, with a quote by, by a scholar, by Wayne Grudem, who I don't agree with in some of his points here, but the, 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 the quote is quite profound, not profound, but it, it clarifies what it means for God to be invisible. God's invisibility means that God's essence, all of his spiritual being, will never be able to be seen by us. Yet God still shows himself to us through visible created things. Think about Romans 1, I think verse 20. So he will show a bit of his attributes in creation. Uh, 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 but Christ... Uh, is the fullness of the revelation of God. So if you want to know God, you, 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 the creation will show you some aspects of who God is, but Christ shows you the fullness of God, which is what John saw when Christ came. He, he saw the fullness of But the point I was making today goes even beyond that scope. It goes to the scope of not the incarnation, but the scope of pre-incarnate Christ, the scope of Christ in eternity, uh, Christ in the Old Testament, where uh, Christ was evidently involved in the Exodus. And